Good morning. Uh, I am Eric Lopez. I'm the Senior Associate Dean here at Seton Hall Law School. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here this morning uh, to our conference today on Egypt, Past, Present, and Future. Today's conference is going to examine the implications of the Egyptian Revolution uh, and on both international and constitutional law, the role of social networking in facilitating revolutionary change, and the future of the region more generally. Uh, as I think many of you know, Seton Hall Law School has a very special relationship with Egypt. Uh, we were the first American law program in Egypt, I believe, 14 years ago, Bernard? 15, 15 years ago. We've done uh, the program there, I think, almost every year out of the last 15 years. Um, and through the program, hundreds of our students, uh, as well as students from other uh, law schools, both in the United States and abroad, have had the opportunity to visit Egypt law studying subjects like Islamic legal uh, tradition, international oil and gas law, maritime law, international criminal law, and others. Uh, this year uh, would have been our 15th year in Cairo, and I was very excited to be going uh, this summer. Uh, unfortunately, Bernard and I <coughs> reluctantly came to the conclusion uh, that due to the revolution, and, and perhaps more distinctly because of the uncertainty of the government uh, restructuring now going on, in Egypt, we canceled this summer's program. But uh, on a personal note, I will uh, tell you that I am greatly looking forward to joining Bernard uh, next summer uh, in Egypt. And yes, Bernard, you're going next summer, um, <laughs> like it or not, uh, uh, in Cairo um, and uh, in years to come after that as well. Um, and uh, for those of 